Let's review the Webflow's new AI site builder. Check this out. So here we go. The way it works is that when you create a new site on your Webflow account, now you have an option to choose AI site builder. So let's try it out. I want to create a business website and the business name is Brooklyn Punch. Now here we want to describe the business. Brooklyn Punch is a boxing gym. I'm going to click next and then you can select either an AI suggested brand style or you can go with any of those like professional, natural, minimal, futuristic, playful and so on. But let's try the AI suggested style. Now I want this to be in light mode and then we can specify color range. I want this to have some kind of a red color in it and I'm going to click generate. Now it takes up to a minute to build your website using this new AI site builder right inside Webflow. So we have some results. So the way it works is that we have this sidebar on the left. First off, here we can choose a different theme, which is a set of typography and colors generated by AI. And once we click on that, it's going to restyle the whole website and all of these different sections and then we can experiment with colors typography and so on you can totally switch the color you can use the dark mode but i'm going to keep this one for now because i actually designed the logo and some simple identity so i want a custom website that will match my logo and my identity you know if you don't have a logo yet maybe that's something cool to pick the one you want but i actually want to build a website that matches my identity and the same with typography you can go and click edit right here for example this one is pretty cool it's close to what i want to use here you have different types of fonts, but I just want to leave it as is. And then you have a few more options, like you can change the accents of the sections. So for example, the hero section is red and the rest of the website is white and then the footer is black, right? So if I select this, then it automatically applies it. As you can see, we have the new typeface here. We have some black section and we have some white section and black again. So it alternates the colors. Now you can also change the layout right here. You can load some other options. This looks much better. And then we can always click this icon swap styles. For example, change it to red and or change it to like this light secondary color and so on. Right, so you have some option to customize each section and then the same pertaining to styling of form, styling of cards and making things rounded and, and so on. I just want to keep it flat and pretty simple. So I will just select this one and I'm going to click start building. So now you have an option to customize everything the way you want. You can add some section here. Let's say I don't like this section, but I don't want to remove it yet. And I want to generate a new hero section. So I can just go here and I can select the layout that I want. So once you click on that layout, it will automatically stylize that layout, meaning it will use your custom font for the headings and the colors and so on. And then all you need to do is just upload your images, right? If I want to customize this website and make it reflect my identity for example i want to have oswald for headings not this one i want to go to variables and i want to go to design system and here we can see all the variables like your primary colors and all the accents then the same with base typography and so on right so let's start by changing the color so I want this to be precisely this red. So I can just go here and I can just paste my hex value and then I can do the same with fonts. So for the heading, now we are using Anton, but if you click on that, you have an option to switch that font and Oswald is right here, which is the font I've chosen for my identity. And then for the body text, I want to use Open Sans. So I'm just going to switch this Roboto font to open sans. Now, if I go back to my page, 
we can see that we already have the new font. You can replace the images. These are some AI generated images, but I found a few images that I want to use on Adobe Stock. So I can just drag and drop them right here. And it's as simple as that. And let's also change other images right here. And there you go. We have our custom images. And then I want to do the same with the logo, right? Now, the problem is that I don't want my nav bar to be red. I want to have the navigation bar white, not red. So I want to start customizing it. But, you know, most of the work has been done. So, you know, I can change this to white right here. Then I can change color of the typography and I can make it text primary. Obviously, I can style this the way I want, but you know, at least some of the work has been done. I have some icons here. I have some sections here. I can always change this style. I can change the sections. I can generate a new section. And you can just use this AI site builder and you can basically just publish this site and it all can be done within a matter of minutes up to an hour. So there you go. We have a live website done in a, just a few minutes up to an hour. We have some little animations. You know, we have some AI generated sections. And what's cool about that, that this is all editable. And by the way, here is another website for the same brand that I've used another AI site builder, which is called Reloom. So check out my other video to learn more about that. I think Reloom is a little better, but Webflow will certainly catch up soon. So these are currently two best and truly AI powered website builders that you can use to make the foundation and then everything is editable. So you can just copy this over to Webflow, edit the way you want. So it certainly can save you some time, but I'm really excited about the future. We're going to have more and more tools like that and it will automate more and more mundane tasks. So stay tuned for tips on branding strategy and design and AI, of course. And I will see you in the next video.